what's up guys so today I'm making an update video on the solar panel for the the doorbell the UFO doorbell battery power as you can see in the back here my last video my last video I showed you guys how to make a pigtail this pigtail comes out of the doorbell and connects to the solar panel that's the solar panel comes down to the doorbell but I actually found out that you need it that you need a, a module and if you come back around here you need a module like this in order for it to keep your battery charging correctly so the solar panel the solar panel comes here and goes out to the doorbell right there see the doorbell is charging right now and I'll show you that it's charging as you can see it's 100% charged and it shows that it's charging, still charging at the light light view so yeah this video is to show you how to install a charging module so that solar panel can work good Okay guys, so this module worked out for me, it's the one that you saw previously, that I've been using. As you can see it has a micro USB port, and it has soldering ports. Uh, this is the input side, and this is the output side. This blue box is to adjust the voltage that you need, and, and to do that you need a, a miniature flathead screwdriver, and you turn, turn it uh, to the voltage that you need, I think it's about 6 volts and it's going to be charging at 3 amps alright so when you get the solar panel, solar panel already comes with a micro and you could if you if you want to you could just plug it in like this Can you hear me? and uh... sorry and uh... what's it called and the voltage it's coming in right now. I'm using this light as a source to show you. Let me grab the voltmeter here. All right. Multimeter is going to show the voltage. You got the ground here. Let's do it like this. It's going to be kind of difficult. Do it like this. And right now, with this light, it's a 4.8 volts. You can see, 4.8. And when you have it ready at the location that you're gonna uh, install it, uh, it has to be on a sunny day, obviously. And uh, you could attach the solar panel first and turn this little guy, turn it. I believe it's clockwise. It's really small, really tiny. There we go. Yeah, you turn it clockwise and the voltage goes up. See, 5, 9, 4, 9. A bad connection right there. 4, 9. And you gotta turn it until you get. Hold on. You gotta turn it until you get 6 volts no more than six let me get this good contact here all right so you got right now we got a 4.9 uh, it's really hard to get there we go 
it's really small I can't see it let's see oh there we go okay so I keep turning it should go up see it's going up five volts that's the desired voltage of every five volt device but you want to go a little bit higher and I usually leave it at around six volts you gotta keep going slowly remember you gotta read the manual for this module because it comes with a module sorry with a manu manual you gotta read it and I think it tells you <coughs> to turn it three times or 15 times I believe uh, counterclockwise and then make adjustments so you keep going until you get close to six volts right here will work uh, but it's not gonna charge uh, um, well it will charge but it's not gonna charge that well so you want it a little higher than normal five volts pretty close to six I saw you have it over there in my mailbox so you get the picture you turn it um, clockwise until you get close to six volts All right let's say there let's say you get to six volts all right so the solar panel goes in here you get the option to just plug it you know plug it or do as I did I cut it and solder the negative positive and the solar pan and the doorbell goes here remember to adjust it to six volts no more than six and you'll be good to go it has worked for me for a while and uh, as you saw in the video it's full of web but this module worked for me and I'm gonna leave a description on, uh, I'm gonna leave the link in the description all right so micro USB, solar micro USB from the solar panel plug it in adjust the voltage to six no more than six and then you can you have to solder the the uh, the other end here that goes to the to the doorbell and the reason I cut it is because the the one that comes with the solar panel you could use it on this side because uh, you could just you know cut it solder it here and then the other end solder it here you could plug it to the doorbell that's why I chose to cut it that way I have the module in between the solar panel so yeah that's how it worked out for me it's been running for a while and so far no issues always at a hundred percent all right guys thank you thank you for watching